Thanks. Now to a kidnapping and a high-speed car chase that played out in an El Paso County neighborhood last night. It ended with a smashed sheriff's office vehicle and a long list of criminal charges for the man they arrested. Garrity News Channel 13, Spencer Soisher joins us live from our newsroom to fill us in on what he's now learned. Spencer. Yeah, Barton Heather, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office says it had been investigating Kenneth Archuleta for domestic violence for several days. They had a warrant to arrest him before Archuleta took off, leading to a dangerous chase for everyone involved. It's not real often that, that people run from us. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says 29-year-old Kenneth Archuleta tried to escape an arrest last night while holding a woman against her will. It all happened at 10 o'clock on Hampton South near South Academy Boulevard. Sergeant Jason Garrett says deputies had a warrant to arrest Archuleta for domestic violence. They saw him, he saw them, and he, uh, he took off out of the air at a high rate of speed. He then cut through a residential neighborhood, upping the danger while holding his suspected victim in the car. Thankfully, uh, one of the deputies that was responding saw this, this female victim that they already uh, knew of and, and had that relationship with inside the car. Deputies created a perimeter to try to contain Archuleta, but he wasn't done yet. Uh, he intentionally rammed one of our patrol vehicles, took that vehicle out, um, and he took off again at a high rate of speed with that female in the vehicle. Then a lucky break. Archuleta's car ran out of gas and deputies moved in. He's now facing charges of motor vehicle theft, assault on a peace officer, and vehicular assault. Not to mention kidnapping as well. Sergeant Garrett reminding people to play an active role if they find themselves in similar danger. If you can get away, get away. If you can flag down help, flag down help. Um, uh, if you can, you know, uh, text 911. Uh, both our dispatch center and CSPD's dispatch center has the ability to receive 911 texts. Court records show that Archuleta has faced battery on a peace officer before back in New Mexico in 2014. Right now, he's in the El Paso County Jail facing a $26,000 bond. Live in the newsroom, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Spencer, thanks.